everyone, my name is Ayush and today we are going to be reading There is No Place Like Space by Tish Rape. So let's get started. Let's get started on There's No Place Like Space by Tish Rape. I'm the cat in the hat, and we'll have to have fun. We'll visit the planets and the stars and the sun. There's no place like space. I will prove it to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Jump in. Here we go. We will fly up so high we can dance on the moon and play games in the sky. You will swing past the stars, and in case you have missed them, you'll soon see... The planets in our solar system. There are nine plant, nine of these planets that circle the sun, and soon you'll be able to name every one. Mercury's close to the sun's burning light. It is hot in the daytime but freezing at night. On Venus, the weather is always the same: hot, dry, and windy, with no chance of rain. Can you guess the next planet? Well, here's a clue. It is my home and home to thing one and thing two. You, you eat, have been living on it each day since your birth. It is the third from the sun. It is our planet Earth. It spins all the time, round and round like a top. It turns once every day and it never will stop. This question had thing one and thing two in a tizzy. If the earth's always spinning, why don't we feel dizzy? We don't feel the earth as it spins on its way because we're spinning right with it right now every day. Next here is Mars. It's the color of rust. We sneeze here because it's covered in dust. Travel to du Jupiter and you will find it is bigger than all the other planets combined. Saturn has rings. It's so light. Who would think it could float in an ocean and not even sink? A planet can have satellites that surround it. Uranus has lots of these, or objects around it. There are colors in space. I will show you. So I will show some to you. Neptune you see is a beautiful blue. If you lived on Pluto, it would not be nice. Some astronomers think it is covered with ice. It is chilly and cold every night and all day. For the sun's just a speck in the sky far away. An astronomer studies what's up in the sky. Thing two wants to be one. In fact, so do I. We have seen all nine planets. Now here is a trick to remember their names and remember them quick. Say... Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. The first letter of each of these words is the same as the first letter in each of the planets you name. Now here is a game you can play in the skies. You connect all the stars you can see with your eyes. It's star dot to dot. Use your imaginations. You'll see big pictures we call constellations. A dog, the great bear, and Leo the lion, Taurus the bull, and a hunter, Orion. A star in the, a star in the sky may look small like a dot, but, is, but it's really a, gl a big glowing bot and it's hot. And there is, there is one star... By far, that's our favorite one. We can't live without it. The star is called the sun. From the earth, it looks big. There is one reason why. It's closest to the earth of the stars in the sky. But be careful and never look right at the sun. Your eyes would get hurt and that would not be fun. How big is the sun? We just heard right this minute a million of our earths could fit all, could all fit right in it. 
look at the time, we must go very soon. But first we must take a quick look at the moon. The moon does not shine in the sky in the night, but like a big mirror reflects the sun's light. The universe is a mysterious place. We are only just we are only just learning what happens in space. So I bought, brought you a present. To look in the sky, just put this telescope up to your eye. Oh dear, I must go. Fly back up to the stars and th take things one and two out to dinner on Mars. But there's lots to discover and it might be you who looks up in the sky. And find something new. The end. If you enjoyed that video, if you did, you can subscribe and hit the bell. Also, be sure to click the like button. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you for listening.